everybody. Let's see. They might make me do this today. All right. Okay. So I know it's half time during the Packer game today, but I wanted to go through some of the bags with you guys because I had a little bit of a break with studying. I kind of had um, some time this evening I didn't think I was going to have. So um, to get started, I suppose we could start talking about um, the littlest item of the bags, which would be the drawstring bags. So you can start with those. I'm going to show you all of them that I have. And then I'm going to show you some fabrics that I could make these bags out of. Um, and I guess the fabric could be used for anything else as well. So with the drawstring bags, they're relatively small, but they're also a really good size. Um, for, uh, your, your, um, for you or for your friend or your kid who likes to play games, especially games with dice or different pieces, uh, for any board games, that sort of thing, this would work out perfect for that. It would fit um, plenty of those pieces. Um, so I've got a couple different ways that I made these. This is kind of the prototype. So it has a separate strip of fabric on this one um, where the, um, the strings go through. And then they're tied on either end and kind of singed so that they won't kind of fall apart that way. Um, so that's one way. This particular one is a Star Wars bag with blue in the inside with that, that blue strip there. Then I have another Star Wars bag, that same fabric, um, but it's a Star Wars extra piece of fabric going there. And this one's got red in the inside. It's kind of got a little bit of piping so you can see it from the outside as well. So there's that one. And then um, I have another one of that same Star Wars one with red in the inside, but this time I kind of finagled the new way to make these. So these are have kind of a hole in the fabric itself from the outside to allow the strings to go between the two pieces of fabric. And then it's just stitched. I don't know if you can see the stitching because it's white. But it's stitched around that so that it's kind of held in place. Hi, Roxy! Um, so that's those are the Star Wars ones that are black and white. Uh, and then I have two similar ones to that last one with that same sort of, um, with the, the strings going between the two pieces of fabric, the inside fabric and the outside fabric. Um, I guess you can see it better from the inside with that stitching. So you've got the stitching that goes around these strings to hold them in place, um, at least so they're not like slipping down into the bag. And then it goes like that. So this one I call kind of like the comic uh, Star Wars bag. It's kind of like a comic strip. And this one's pretty much identical to the other one. So with those, those are the smaller size bags, the drawstring bags. Those are $8 a piece. Um, and I'm going to show you the larger bag, which is $10. So this one is just taller. It actually would fit quite a bit more if you compare it to the other one. Um, pretty big size difference. This one is a Harry Potter fabric, so it's got all the different Harry Potter houses. Um, hi, hi Jack, hi Kyle, both Kyles. Um, so those are those. I know, probably gonna embarrass him a little bit, but my husband plays Magic the Gathering, the card game, and he uh, needs little dice for that. And so that's what he uses his bag for, uh, is to hold the dice for that. So now that I've showed you those, um, I do have some more of the Harry Potter fabric, so I can use that for whatever you would want, if that's something you're interested in. I can make the smaller bag or, what, or whatever you'd need. I have some Walking Dead fabric, um, and then another one, Ant-Man, I believe. Um, so those are some fabrics that I could use. Uh, I guess there's also a SpongeBob one, if you're into SpongeBob. So I could, I could make some bags for you with that, uh, whether it's the drawstring bags or something else. And then just recently, I actually got uh, some of these little, I haven't even opened the bag yet. Um, they're little, here we go, little clip things that can go around the strings so it can, you know, tie tight and stay tight rather than having to tie it in the bag, tie the, the strings in the bag on top. Oh, it totally could be a coin bag for a server as Kyle. Hi, Leah. Um, so those are the drawstring bags. So there are a lot of things I can do with that, a lot of different fabric that we've got going for those. So again, those smaller ones are $8, the bigger ones are 10. I've got tons of fabric to make you one if you didn't like what you saw. So there's that. All right. So then I'll go to kind of the next item, which is going to be the wristlet wallets. Um, the wristlet wallets are $20, and I do have a deal if you buy one of these wallets plus one of the bigger bags. 
Um, I don't remember what the deal is. I'd have to look online. I should have looked that up before. But these wristlet wallets, they've got elastic in, in the, the band so it could easily fit around your wrist and stay tight on that wrist. Um, both of them, they're kind of cut slightly different. So this one's got a square corner and this one's got more of a curved corner. But otherwise, they're pretty much identical, made from the same fabric, just different strips put in, put together in different ways. Oh, that's too high. All right, so then they're just really simple in the inside. Um, just the basic pouch in the inside, some more of that bunny fabric in this one. And it does have a sewn buttonhole, so you won't have to worry about your fabric falling apart there. Um, it's kind of got a nice finished look. Kyle, I've, I've had those fabrics for a while. Mom actually got them for me. I just haven't done anything with them yet um, and that's the inside of the other one the the more rounded corners one so again those are $20 a piece just a basic wallet um, perfect if you're just headed into the store for something quick stays on your wrist um, so you don't have to worry about it falling off so those are those again I'd have to look um, to see what the deal is online with those okay so the, the next two items they're both called market totes they're for $55 a piece um, and I'll kind of try to explain quickly, because I know it's only half time, so we're trying to go quick here. I'll try to explain quickly why they're priced as they are. First of all, bags are a ton of work. Um, so each of these, I cut the straps in, from the fabric that I had. I had to sew up the straps. There's um, a special button on this one. It's got two pockets on the outside that are actually quite deep there. And the inside has just some of that like dotted fabric. And then the inside of the bag itself has three, oh, this is going to fall. These are going to be kind of hard to show you guys because they're so big. Uh, so there's one pocket here, a pocket in the middle, and then another one over here. So again, it's kind of hard to show you. So I'll just flip it inside out a little bit there. Um, and otherwise, then it's just got the, the big bag in the inside itself too. So with this, it's, it's kind of got a stabilizer on the outside, or rather between the two pieces of fabric that kind of give it a little bit more sturdiness to it. Um, so again, kind of the price seems maybe a little bit high to some people, but it really does take quite a bit of work to put these together. Uh, and there's a ton of pocket space. I know, I don't know if Roxy's still watching. She is watching. So she had bought me some fabric and wanted something made kind of similar, but she wanted it to be reversible because she wasn't sure which of the two fabrics she, she liked the best. I believe I do have some photos on Facebook. I can um, share those to this video afterwards, but... Um, so what I did for hers was I had just two big pockets on the outside, and then when you flipped it inside out, it didn't have a button closure at all. So I'll kind of show you as an example of how it would work. Um, in the inside, instead of having the three pockets, it was just identical to the outside. So whichever way she turned it, she always had two back pockets on the inside plus the big pocket, and then two pockets on the outside. And it's been working super well for her. It's been holding up really well as far as I know. Um, so... I think that that uh, cotton stabilizer on the outside that kind of gives it a little bit more sturdiness really does make a difference. So that is one of the market totes. Um, the fabric is cut, it's actually, well, kind of sling it around my shoulder here. So it's a pretty good size and it holds quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I think the fabric is 18 inches by like 15 tall, I think, something like that. And then um, there's a little bit of sewing. The sewing takes off some of that, but it's a, it's a pretty good size. And then the other one is going to be really quite difficult to show you. It's much bigger. So this one hangs really low. And it's a lot floppier because there isn't that stabilizer in the inside. But it is bigger. So it took quite a bit more fabric than, the, than um, some of the other pieces that I've done. So you can kind of see, this is just huge. And the way this one is made, they're not real pockets in the inside. And it's going to be so hard to show you guys. Um, maybe I'll get, Kyle, can you come in here? Maybe you could help me here. Oh boy. <laughs> he said, oh boy. He's coming. So with this one, I'll show you really quickly. I uh, doubled up on the stitching on the strap so that it gives it a little bit more sturdiness there. So Kyle, if you could help hold this open <laughs> on the top. I don't know what the best way to do it. Okay. So you can kind of see these maybe... There's four different flaps. They're kind of identical. They sort of come... Oh, the lighting's not very good. Um, Turn the flashlight on. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, perfect. All right. 
Okay, cool, perfect. So you can see these different straps, these different um, kind of like fake pockets, I like to call them, because they actually go straight to the bottom and then out, out the bottom, the bottom's open. So the purpose, thank you, Kyle. The purpose of that in this bag is to be used more as a market tote. So you can put your different items in there and separate them if they're not supposed to touch very well or that milk. sort of thing. Like milk, exactly. It kind of stabilizes the bag too as you're putting stuff in there. So um, it kind of keeps things separate, like I said. So that's kind of a, a neat way to have done this bag. I saw it somewhere else and kind of put it together that way. So this one is also the 55. They're both 55, just made different. This one is much, much, much bigger. Um, and holds quite a bit of stuff, but perfect for uh, kind of like a reusable shopping bag or that sort of thing. So with those, I'll show you some of the other fabrics that I have to make some bigger bags. Um, this stuff is kind of similar to that fabric that I had over uh, the, the bunnies. I think it's the same company that makes them. But this one's got geese, I think, and they're all different, uh, different things there. And then I got this fabric to go with the inside or something else if you don't like that. Um, and I could easily put that together in a bag. And then I have two other fabrics that I really like, um, but haven't done anything with yet. And that is this one. It's pink with, um, this is actually kind of a gray. It might be hard to see in there. And then some yellows and blues. I really like that. And I was thinking of doing like a dark blue as an inside on that one. Um, but again, just haven't put it together yet. And then this one as well is really neat. And I was also thinking of doing the dark blue on the inside of that one. So those are some of the other fabrics that I have um, that I can put some of these bags together with. Uh, my last, during my last live, I had showed you the, um, the three, three-way caddies. And I do have some leftover fabric from those. And those are some thicker fabrics. Um, and here's one that you haven't seen yet. So those would work really well for like a market tote or one of those bags too and might not even need that stabilizer in the inside to give it some more stability because the fabric itself is already pretty stable. Okay, so I left out the diaper bag which could also be just like a travel bag because I'm going I'm to do that with the baby stuff um, whenever we get to that. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys about a new bag design that I actually just started working on tonight. Um, hopefully it won't be too hard for me to put it together, but the fabric I have right now is more little girls fabric. Any of the fabrics you saw tonight totally could do the same thing with. Let's see if I can find all the things in my space here. Okay, so this fabric is in Elsa and Anna, and it's, um, it's purple. It's going to be really hard to cut this fabric, so I tried my best, but her head's just kind of poking out at the top. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out okay. Um, and then the other side too. And it says sisters forever. And so I'm going to have this bag with this, this um, two foot strap here. Uh, and it's going to be intended for little girls. Like I said, this one in particular, just because of the fabric. If you're really into Frozen, totally this is for you too. The way this one's going to be put together, I didn't quite get to it tonight. Um, but it'll have a zipper with kind of these straps on either side. And that's going to be recessed in a little bit. So maybe like an inch or two, inch and a half down. And then this is going to be the inside fabric for that. So I will post some pictures of that when I'm done. Um, but that's a new, a new type of bag that I'm working on. This one's really small. It's perfect as a little shoulder bag. Um, it's just pinned together right now, so it doesn't work quite right. But, um, but just a little one. Perfect for anyone, you know. Um, but I figured little girls need bags too sometimes. Or little boys, whatever you want to do. Um, and again, any of the fabrics that I showed you tonight, I can make any of these bags with, any of the projects with, um, not a problem at all. Some of the other fabrics I have that are more like little girl style would be this one, and then this one as well. So those are some fabrics I haven't done anything with yet. Now, I'm going to talk really quickly, I know the game is probably getting close to getting started again, um, but I have a couple ideas of more bags that I wanted to try. So what I'd like to do is make some more just like basic tote bags that would be a little bit on the cheaper side, um, not quite that $55 level, um, so something a little bit less than that. So I've got a ton of fabrics that I think would look super cool with that. I'll show you some of the, I think my cats might have knocked on one of these, here we go. So I think these two fabrics would go really good together. This one's kind of a darker green. And then there's this yellow with sort of triangles on it. Um, so I thought maybe a tote bag for, with those. There's also this yellow. There we go. I've got this really neat, it kind of reminds me of like farmhouse, 
almost like a picnic. So there's that one. This one that's maybe a little more like a jewel. It reminds me, it's a little fancier. This one is an, another one of those thicker fabrics, but I think this would look really good with maybe like a red inside or as this as like the bottom part of the bag and then this is like the rest of it. I think there's a lot of things we could do with that. I've got some um, just basic, almost not quite a burlap, but sort of a similar idea. Um, again, it was sort of that idea of having that little bit on the bottom that's maybe something more like this and then something a little fancier on top. And this is the last one I have that I wanted to show you guys tonight for possible fabrics. Um, and this one's another one of those thicker fabrics as well. So it would work great for um, a tote bag. Okay, so that, oh, and I had this one. I didn't show you that one. Not sure what that would look good with yet. So I wanted to show you guys those because I wanted to show you some of the options for the fabrics that we have that I could, I could whip something out for you if that's something you're interested in. Um, I did want to throw out one more idea related to the bags. So I was talking to my mom and we were thinking of doing... Um, like getting tote bags and putting sayings on it or something fun um, and making it so that you could put wine bottle, like two wine bottles in there. I know that was something somebody else had mentioned. Um, we could make those, we could um, purchase those and kind of sew them up, do some things ourselves. Um, just sort of an idea that I was sort of, sort of playing with seeing what maybe some of those options would be. Any beads? I don't have any beads. Nope. Let's see. I was totally neglecting all of those comments. Okay. Um, hi, Lindsay. Okay, so that was kind of my, my thought. If we do something like a wine bag, I've got that new Cricut, which is like totally amazing to work with. Um, so I was thinking of doing like wine knot or wine o'clock or something fun like that and doing like an iron on vinyl on tote bags and then uh, making it so that you could put two bottles of wine in it um, and then also like I said we could do our own too so anyway those are some thoughts that I had uh, and yeah do you, does anybody have any questions about anything hold on sometimes there's a little bit of a lag oh thank you so much Lindsay yeah, I threw on, I saw Leah was maybe commenting about my jersey. I threw on an old uh, Nelson jersey that I had. Um, I was, I have to admit, I was wearing a Viking shirt earlier today during the Vikings game because I don't pick sides. It's really hard to in this household when my husband's all Vikings, so. Why am I so awesome? Mom, I know you posted that and you're adorable. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's because you raised me, actually. Okay, so I'm not seeing any questions other than that kind one from my mother. So if, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I, that is all I had for you guys. If there is anything that you saw, any of the fabrics that you saw that you really want something made out of, shoot me a message or comment on here and we will, uh, we will do our best to put something together for you. Um, as I mentioned in the last one, I am taking my boards exam on Thursday. So like I said, I had a quick study break and I knew half time would be perfect to do this. I knew um, people might have some time on Sunday night. So if there's any time this week, uh, either maybe Monday or Tuesday, if I might have some time in the evening um, to do a live or if Friday would work better for you guys or weekends work better, just let me know and we can figure something out. Uh, I think the next one on the list would be the kitchen stuff, and I've got some new ideas for that as well I want to throw out at you guys. So um, I'd like to see what you guys think of that. So anyway, let me know what's going to work best for you, and we'll try to meet up again and do another live. So thank you so much for joining in, and if anybody's watching the replay, again, um, I'll see your comments. So uh, always appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. Back to the game.